That classic and sweet technique is a bounced out reverb which is then be reversed. A quick way to do it is to add a big reverb to something, bounce it in place with Ctrl Alt C and then reverse it. But there are more cases where bouncing out a reverb can be nice. In this song I wanted a big huge reverb which I like the sound of, but the chords interfered ugly with each other when overlapping, here. Instead I bounced out each reverbated chord and laid them side by side. I did this with a 100% mix tone, which can give you a quite an enjoyable sound, and a lot of control of it. And it's also fun to play around with. You can chop it up! Work with it like an instrument. And a slight little bonus trick is just slapping a light reverb on the master and automating up the mix knob so you get this tension and build up. But most of all, these visualized reverbs give you an insight into how you should tweak your reverb settings. Take a look at this snare and its reverb tail. Now, the reverb starts exactly when the snare hits. Here instead I've given it a little bit of a breather before. In a reverb that's the pre-delay setting. But there's also something sweet about having it bounced out like this. Try pitching it up. Just make sure that you bounce it out with no dry signal. This makes it easier to mix together with the original. Alright? Have a beautiful day! Subscribe for more.